This is Hacker Replay, 115. Uh, I tried to find some interesting matches. I'm not going to lie. It was like 12 o'clock, and I was like, man, I got to start stream. And then I forgot that today was Sunday, so I forgot I had to actually download Hacker Replay matches. So I quickly downloaded six hopefully good matches. They may not be great. For the first match, we have the standard clubhouse one. In this match, we have you accusing Lazy Limes, who allegedly was very obviously cheating in the first, like, three rounds, and then when they got called out, tried to hide it as best as possible. So we'll confirm if they're actually cheating, and if they are, then we'll go forward to the next few rounds to see how they try to hide it. And he is running in. Also, Ace with a one-time scope? I hate this. Why would you ever run AK with anything other than a 1.5? Probably cheating. You don't just stare at the wall there, you'd hold the window the entire time. Yeah, he's cheating. Just aware. Trying to play it off like he doesn't, because he tried to check that corner. But he knows Castle's next to him, and he's just waiting. He's trying to bait him out with the drone. He's just looking at him. I think it's fairly obvious that he's cheating. Did not mean to go third person, but doesn't matter. Round's over. Watch another round just to make sure it is very obvious that he is cheating. Um, and then we'll move forward to, like, I think it was round four where they said that he tried to start hiding it. Always ready. I, I mean, if that's not obvious, I don't know what is. He intentionally like stopped because he thought Rook could see him or Doc, and then when he realized Doc was running away, he was fine to push him. The guy got the X-ray spectacles. He really does right now. He's just staring at them. I'll, I'll pull up the text document to see exactly what round they said that he was trying to hide it better at. But we, uh, if we if we don't see him trying to hide it that much, then we'll just skip to the next match. I think he's already trying to hide it as best as he can, but he's not that good at hiding it. Like, he's barely checking the rooms. And then pre-fires both of them, but dies. Okay, let's see. They say he just tries to hide it more and more progressively throughout the game. So we'll go to, like, round five. Second last round and see how he tries to hide it there. He has cheats and he isn't swinging. I mean, a lot of cheaters will hold back from being obvious and swinging everything because they don't want to be found out right away. Because if they're just swinging everything and pre-fire everything, then people are going to be like, well, this guy's obviously cheating, we should report him. Also, I know it's like sw swapping from attack to defense, where defense you have to just wait for them. But I feel like he's playing incredibly different or differently now than he was on attack. Like he's very obviously running around wasting time and just shooting at nothing, whereas on attack he did not do any of that. But now he's going to get a bit more aggressive. Just throwing out there that all three defenders left are upstairs. I don't know what he's trying to hold. 
don't care what you've seen so far, he's running elephant skin, he's cheating. I mean, he probably is. Well, look at his stats. The guy also said that his stats were crazy, to say the least, so... He's probably gonna be like a level 2 with like a 10 KD. Uh, I, I can see how he's trying to hide it more, but it's, I still find it pretty obvious. Like, he didn't even flinch at the fact that Ash had to Ash Argus. He was holding this, and he pre-fired as she ran around the corner. Alright, Lazy Limes. Level 47, so still trying to rank up with an almost 2 KD, 1.7. Uh, not crazy high stats, but based on what I saw, I think it's fairly obvious he's cheating. I'm sure there will be people on YouTube who will disagree because they'll just say, hey, you accuse everyone of cheating, but I think it's fairly obvious he's cheating. And personally, I don't think I'm guilty of accusing that many people of cheating. If anything, I'm guilty of over-advertising my charm, which you can get just by subbing my Twitch channel using Prime or $5. It won't make you as good as some of these hackers, but you'll be pretty close. Next match is... Bank. In this match, we have Hades. 0.392 who's accusing Luther 89 Payak 7v. He didn't drone at all during the prep phase and he's Ash. He's got to be cheating, right? I don't care what anyone says. Also, thank you for the six months in advance, Don't Avius. Or Don't Avius, rather, probably. Oh. Whoops. He just saw him run up the stairs and ignored them. But he was ready for the rook. Does he know about the two people downstairs with him? I don't think he is paying attention. He's just running through and no one is stopping him. He yeah, Ash charged the door, but then he looks at them through the wall instead of holding the door in case someone swings. And he just lined up the Oryx through the wall. Or sorry, well my. Now he aimed at that wall, probably hoping that he could kill that one person through the wall. I think it's pretty obvious that he's cheating, I think. At least that one hole where he was like aiming at the guy through the wall. So, just as, you know, I guess like further proof, he's either one, trying to not get the ace to not be so obvious, or two, he somehow is good enough to run through and kill everyone, but then he tries to put an a breaching charge on a reinforced wall. Just, just saying. So, I get that the enemy team is clearly not that good, and this is very likely a newer level lobby. Like, this is probably on average like level 10, but no ping or anything. I understand Dokubi saw them, but then they aim at them right through the wall, hold that aim while they peek, and then kill them. Yeah, they're cheating. And then they know that Tachanka's there, even though Tachanka wasn't visible on drone, if I'm not mistaken, right? Let me see. Yeah, they never saw Tachanka, but they knew that he's back there. Even before, like, he would have moved or done anything, they just knew that he was back there, and then they lose the fight anyways. I think it's fairly obvious. We'll go to the last round. Oh my god, his aim. I will say, that was... I guess the most droning we've seen. And when he ran in, it did look like he was caught off guard by the Oryx, but 
I don't think uh, that is necessarily. Like, I don't know. I don't think that's proof that he's not cheating because most of the rest of the game has been him just knowing where everyone is at all times. Looks like he's trying to run across the map to get the guy who pinged for the last line scan. He's now outside, so I mean this would be very obvious where he is. I don't know about you. But I feel like it's obvious that he's trying to be like, oh, uh, I'm just gonna like flick over here, move over here, whatever. He's he's cheating. Yeah, shocker. I mean, it's a brand new account, so he's facing the easiest lobbies possible, but also has a 3.5 KD. I would say, in my opinion, obvious cheater. But I guess there is always the possibility that he is just facing that terrible of a lobby. But yeah, either he is cheating and just running through these low-level lobbies, or he's on, like, a smurf and just shitting them as much as possible. But I think he tracked people, or, like, lined people up too much to, you know, just be a, a smurf. I think it had to have been walls. Anyways, next match. I believe it's Skyscraper. Yes. In this match, we have yt.con.e1, whatever the hell that means, and... Shotgun King. He's accusing Shotgun King. This guy's actually putting down utility. Doing like common rank star things, which is where they go around the map like breaking random stuff because for some reason they consider it to be in their way. Uh, I know. I know this. I could just be reading too much into this, but I'm just going to point out that the timing of this was a little crazy. They're just sitting here watching nothing. Then as soon as the person crosses like what would be the middle of their screen crosshair and goes up, he moves his aim with them. Well, we'll watch and see what happens next. Doesn't even attempt to like peek outside, just breaks the barricade and then runs away. But then also follows where the Yana's going. Or oh, sorry, who is that? Grim, Buck, someone. I think he's cheating. How do you catch this shiz? What do you mean, like me noticing that? I mean, after playing long enough, you just... Or at least doing enough hack replays. This is my second year of doing hacker replays weekly so you just kind of get used to it you notice this shit a lot more i think also just the more you play the more you'll be like I don't think you have to play too much to know that that's fairly obvious. Like, he's just straight up staring at him through the wall, trying to get the angle, and then punches another hole. I think he's trying to be subtle. He's not, like, chasing after them, but I think it's still fairly obvious what he's doing. Yeah, like, obviously, the more you play, the more you're going to be able to detect cheats because you know how normal people play. This is not how a normal person plays. Last round he didn't do a single thing like that. He never pre-fired anything. This time he's pre-firing but he's not even pre-firing. He's hitting the wall. It's just like a complete 180 of how like their personality was when they played. The air jab saved him? He went through the claymore. So you notice how like, last time when someone pinged and he was just spraying, he aimed like up here and was hitting the wall. But he like was swinging like this to try to pretend like he was pre-firing and aiming at something, but no one was there. This time he aims directly at head level. 
and like just perfectly knows where to shoot and where they're gonna peek. Here, I'm just pointing this out. A normal player who's good at the game, who's trying to do a run out, when you would run out of this window, you would pre-fire this because you would expect someone to be here. You would never, in my opinion, jump out, swing, and then just hold. Because here, if someone's outside, they can pre-fire you and kill you. You have to react. So he's just standing outside holding an angle because he knows that he can win the fight. Because he knows where they are. And then he does shit like this. He's cheating. Not a doubt in my mind. Okay, Shotgun King. Uh, he's emerald with a 1.3 KD. Previously was silver and didn't really play rank before that with a negative KD. He for sure is cheating. Level 104. He's not that great though because he's got almost a 50% win rate. Kind of garbage. But I guess he's trying really hard to try to make it as subtle as possible. But I think it's fairly obvious. He's at 14 and 5 and there's two... Uh, what's it called? Reverse friendly fires from no stepsis and Asian ninja. So I assume they probably know that he's cheating. And he got a lot more blame. Let's watch the last round. This will be really good if it actually proves... Oh, he's definitely cheating. Because then people will be like, you don't know what you're talking about. You're just assuming stuff based off of what you've seen. And then here he's like perfectly pre-firing them as soon as they're about to peek. And he's just watching them through the walls. I assume once all of them repel away, he will leave this angle. Oh, just kidding. Yana's coming back or whoever that is. Blackbeard. As, as soon as they all left, he has now rotated around. Just aimed at her through the wall. Yeah, he is cheating, guys. I'm curious when they team killed him, and maybe why. Also, another obvious thing that he's doing there, at least to me it's obvious, um, in both cases here when he goes to pre-fire, he specifically is aiming right where they are not. He's aiming right next to them, but make sure not to hit them, reloads, goes over here, and shoots to the right, and then goes over, doesn't shoot, shoots to the left. To kind of scare them being like, oh, I know you're in there, and then maybe they'll run into one bullet. Or they can just be like, oh, I've been pre-firing you for a while, I just knew you were in there. And they had cams too, but no one was pinging on them. So, we know that he knows where they are. Yeah, he's trying hard to hide it. I will say, uh, I, would, I would imagine that in the match, it'd probably be a little bit hard to tell if he was actually cheating or not, just because of how much he's trying to like, go through to hide it. But in match replay, it's fairly obvious he knows what he's doing. Okay, in this match, we have Mr. Banane Bread, the maestro, who's accusing the first pro. Based off that name, I'm going to guess cheating. We may have a four for four cheaters today. I mean, okay, they just kill someone. He didn't aim right at him. He he aimed, you know, next to him. Okay, I'm just going to point this out. If I'm right. Both times when he... Okay, not so much there. I was going to say, when he flicked here, he stops, aimed at the mirror, and then flicked over again. He didn't, but when he goes back, he does aim at the, at least, mirror, and then flicks over. wonder if this mirror is actually open, or if it's just bugged from the replay. Don't know.
I would say the first two kills have excuses. You know, Kite kills someone, you run in, you trade. Uh, you run up the stairs, you hear them walking up there, you look up there. So, so far it's fine, but based off his movements and aim, I'm already a little suspicious. But we'll give it some time and see. Because like, he's droning in the prep phase, but then he just runs in gun up. I guess, I mean, it is TDM meta, right? If there's ever been a time to just run in without drowning, it's now. He's stuck on the exact same spot on the stairs. He team kills. Huge. Yang misses the candela. <laughs> He's just so afraid to push up the staircase. It's like almost like he knows that someone's gonna just peek him there. Also, uh, am I? Oh, it's muted. Okay, I was gonna say, am I crazy? Like, that's just frozen. Okay, that seems to be a reaction. He seems genuinely lost that his teammate was getting shot and didn't know from where. He also just stared at the Valkyrie and doesn't realize it, if I'm not mistaken. He pushes in, looks at her, but then looks away and holds this as if he thinks she's back there? And then doesn't realize this hole is open because the Fenrir walks by and he heard it but didn't notice it. This is such a strange setup. This was, I believe, ranked as well, so... I'm just gonna check one thing. I think it's fine, but I haven't really been paying attention, so I wanna make sure. What's his recoil look like? Kind of non-existent, but... pay attention if he droned that or not before. Like, I don't know why he was suspicious of it to begin with. I mean, I guess he actually could have been killed from there before and just been paranoid. I've done that. Whenever I die to one spawn peak, I always check it every single time for the next few weeks. Just arrive what happened. Uh, first three matches were all... Wait, was it three matches so far? Yes. First three matches so far have been all super obvious cheaters. That Mira is up, by the way. It doesn't look like it, because I fast-forwarded, but it is there. Uh, but in this match, I thought it was like slightly obvious at first, and then now I'm doubting myself. It doesn't seem to be a blatantly obvious cheater. He was just staring at him. Oh, maybe he's not cheating. He doesn't, like, he seems lost half the time, but his aim seems good. It's just his movement is scared. Like, he pushes in anywhere and he's like, uh, what do I do? And just is, like, holding random angles and scared. But then his aim is good because he keeps flicking around and pre-firing. He seems clean. So far, I would say he's more clean than the other ones, that's for sure. Remember, we do have to actually watch the entirety of the match if we think they're clean, just to make sure they stay clean. Because we have had matches before where the person starts cheating in the last round. I'll never forget that one consulate match where the guy seemed clean the entire match, and then in the very final round, he very blatantly started walling. And it was a nine round match, so... That does happen. Standard just basically unranked. It's unranked with a few things taken away. I don't mind the op bands and map bands being gone, but I really hate uh, the overtime being gone. There, it feels like there's even less of a point to care because with no overtime, it's just, just go to four and then you're done.
I feel like what just happened right there is a sign that he is actually not cheating because he kept holding that hole the entire time. And then finally, when someone was finally going to peek it, he stopped peeking and then looked away. But, you know, I mean, maybe he's, maybe he's hiding it. That looked fine too. I looked away for a second, but from what I saw, that looked fine. Not get the kill. Oh, nope. Not looking for walls though. I don't think he truly is that much. I mean, right there, that was a little weird. I'm not talking about the blue guy. That's his teammate. But like there, it looked like he aimed at the guy through the wall as soon as he was going to cafe. But his aim doesn't suggest walls sometimes because like there, if you're walling, let's just use this as an example. If you're walling, and you know the ash is about to go through the hatch, would you not aim where she's actually going to fall, like on the left side instead of the middle? The middle suggests normal aim, which is what a normal player does, because if you don't know where they're going to drop, you aim at the middle and then flick to wherever they are. If you're a cheater, you would aim more on the left, expecting them to drop there, and then shoot them as they drop. You know, that's my, my critical analysis of it. Thanks for the two months, Germa's number one fan, and Nusa from Baby Nut. Oh yeah, September ends today. Or yesterday, actually. Today's October, I forgot. September has ended. Which was the Twitch thing where you could get subs for 25% off. I did tell you guys that if we reached 6,000, I would dress up as the Ash Tomb Raider Elite skin, cosplay as it on stream. And if we reach 10,000, I would do the Yana to be elite skin. But we didn't reach either goal, so... We're not doing it, at least right now. It's not too late. You guys can sub. Mr. Banane Bread just jumped off the roof. We need to find out if that camera is up. Because as soon as Lion fell on the ground, he ran over there to kill him. Okay, Lion is the only one who spawns over here. Everyone else spawns main door. Does he shoot this camera? He does, okay. Okay, they do. So, so somehow... So somehow Lion falls off the roof here, and as soon as he falls, even though there's no outside cameras, we've determined that. He falls, he's downed. Mozzie flicks over to where he is, kind of looking at him, and then jumps outside to then finish him. Again, no outside cameras whatsoever. Everything else, I thought, is legit. There is 0% chance he is legit after that. He has to be cheating. So, I found Grand Banane's match history that has the first pro, which is the guy's streamer mode name. His actual name is C, and then backwards C10. In ranked, he is a plat with a 1.06 KD, but in quick play, he has a 0.33 KD. Oh, he's only played five quick plays and abandoned all five. Uh, this account is fairly low level overall and hasn't really been active other than from Solar Raid. Stats don't seem to indicate cheating, at least of abnormal levels, but I think he has to be cheating, right? Like, there is zero way that he would know that Lion's down and know to go kill him. He has to be cheating, but his stats suck, so he's, I guess, just a terrible cheater. Like, he's positive, sure. I mean, I guess he was pretty good at hiding it. I think for, throughout most of the rounds, he wasn't obvious. It was kind of like he kept kind of looking over towards people, but he kept looking away at the perfect time, and I had the impression that maybe he was just getting lucky 
but no, he's cheating. Okay, in this match we have Michael Dot Myers, who's accusing uh, I love Buzz Lightyear and Noah won. He says that one second. Let me pull up the text document because he had a whole a whole spiel. Um, he says Noah is the obvious one, and Buzz does similar things to him, but not as obvious. So we'll watch Noah first, and then we'll watch Buzz. And he specifically notes one thing that Buzz does in the last round. So we can watch like two rounds of Noah. If it's super obvious, we move on to Buzz. We'll watch like two rounds of Buzz. If it's super obvious, and we move to the last round and see what the super, super obvious thing was that he mentioned. He just knifed the thorn while armoring through. I wish my enemies would do that. Normally they just hold an angle and wait for me to come through the window. Oh, he, mm, he aimed at the frost twice. I'm just throwing that out there. He died. Wait, how? How did he die? I assume the thorn called out because she was on cameras. Okay. I guess we'll watch I Love Buzz Lightyear for this round. He is using the worst side in the game. So I feel like he must be cheating then. Is he bot walking? He keeps bot walking, but then when he shoots at them, all of a sudden he's like, he knows how to line it up and pre fire. <laughs> What's he's looking for the default cams, but I think they destroyed the two. I guess we can't tell for sure. I'll have to rewind and see. I'll restart and see. But even then, if you're looking for a cam, you don't just bot walk like that. You would aim around looking for it. They destroyed this camera. Either Buck or Osa would destroy it, not Osa. He does walk past the default camp but doesn't destroy it. He actually, I think, gets pinged by it, repels away, and runs away. So, Ash is getting pinged. I still don't think that excuses the bot walking behavior because if you're getting pinged, which I assume is what we're hearing, that ding, ding. I, I assume that would be from the blue side, but I guess it's showing up from the orange side. I still feel like you would not look around and like walk in straight lines back and forth doing this. I don't think that type of movement lines up. Now he sees the camera. Aim and movement's still weird. Like he's aiming right now at like crotch level, and then just like walking in straight lines. Frozen. He is moving and aiming like a brand new player, but then as soon as it comes to actually shooting someone, he all of a sudden looks like at least like a gold or plat player. 
Like when he was on the balcony, he's pre-firing a tight angle on this window. Doesn't quite add up. I have seen this before, where you have like a new player who's using walls and their movement and aim is garbage, but then as soon as they see the outline, then they know what to aim at and then their aim is really good. But just like the general movement's always terrible. Only one round, so we still have time to see, but... He seems like a bot who somehow can just dick on people with a gun. He's not cheating. He's probably just getting used to PC movement. Maybe. Why'd they only reinforce the one wall? They just, oh no, they reinforced both. It just wasn't showing. No one just looked at the Tachanka through the pillar, by the way. I'm just throwing that out there. Like he's... I don't know if you guys noticed, but it almost looked like he was getting ready to aim up at the Azami. Even though they have no intel there. Aim is terrible. It looks like he wants to swing, but he knows someone's on the right, so he can't swing. So I guess the question is now, how does he approach this? Is he ready for the guy ground level? Oh, he is. He just... Yeah, I didn't even see the zombie and he'd already pre-fired. Just looked at the warden running through the wall. Him and Buzz Lightyear both do the same type of thing. They shoot and then they just kind of like lock onto some random object or wall that has no prevalence and just stare at it. Almost like tunnel vision. But this guy, the warden, he had already looked at him through the wall. Like, when he was on pillar, he looked up at him. It was like, the warden... So the warden was, like, up there. The bond was over here, and then the warden started running across, and he, like, stared as he ran across, and then looked back. I think the Noah guy is cheating. The Buzz Lightyear guy, jury's still out, but... We'll watch him after we finish watching Noah. Bro's fighting for his life right now. He just stood in the fire and died. We'll watch more of Buzz Lightyear later. But Noah's something else. I'm just saying. That round did not look at all like the previous round. Doesn't know how the Aruni gates work. He did aim at the like, wall slash window instead of the actual window. You'd be able to hear them repel up. So, you guys can tell me if you think I'm being crazy or not. I believe that was 100% definitive proof that the Noah guy is cheating. I don't know if you guys caught that. So, he goes to aim. He's aiming on the balcony. And whoever that is on the balcony, Nomad, crouches 
and then Clash adjusts her, adjusts her aim to be at crouch level. I think that is more than enough proof that they're cheating. Um, they have a 0.42 KD in quick play, but somehow a 1.32 KD in ranked. Uh, previously, they were always hard stuck in copper and bronze for years. Came back and forth on the game, and then suddenly now is a plat with a positive KD. Yeah, I'm going to guess that they are cheating. And you can't even say like they sold the account or anything, because they had the same name before. I guess they could have changed it back and then sold it, I don't know. I think it is fairly obvious Noah is cheating. People will say like, oh, but you'd be able to hear them crouch and stuff. You wouldn't hear it so clearly and be so ready to do it like that. Also, jury would be out on whether you could actually hear them crouch perfectly there or not. He's also, on a few different occurrences now, looked up at the ceiling, or roof, when they're up top. But, I mean, I do the same, so I can't really... Like, and then look at this! What is this aim? He's aiming, like, at the fucking... table. But then aims at the Osa through the wall. And then just aimed at the Nomad through the wall. He's cheating. Like... He has to be cheating. Aimed at the Nomad again through the wall. He knows where Osa is, even though every single one of his teammates is watching him and no one is watching cams, meaning there'd be no way for them to know exactly where Osa went. But he loses the fight anyways. He's cheating. No one is cheating. Okay, now, I love Buzz Lightyear is the other accused cheater in this match. We'll watch this round, and then I will probably just go straight to the last round where he was specifically accused for something. We did watch him in the first round, right? And he, did, he was the one with the bot movement while getting spotted by a camera, so... We'll see if he does similar-ish things or not. I'm also curious if they're queued together. Because one reason why he could be accused is if Noah is cheating, one thing a lot of cheaters will do is they'll give callouts to their friends so that they get the kill and then the walls aren't suspicious. He has spent the last minute and a half reinforcing. He has no idea that they are long gone. He is standing in the middle of the room, by the way, just staring at nothing. If anyone were to push in from the doors in front of him or the door behind him, he would just be a dead man walking, but he feels comfortable to just stand there. Weird. Could be just a new player. He missed all of those shots, which is a good sign for whether he's a cheater or not. Looks like he is waiting for the thorn to come do something. His, like, aim and preparedness for Brava looked a little suspicious, but, like, if he had walls, why wouldn't he have just shot Osa when she repelled in, you know? Because you could at least be like, that was off sound, I heard it.
from my quick look, it does not look they are, look like they are cute together. I was looking at Noah's previous matches, and I don't see I love Buzz Lightyear in any of them. So. We'll see if he does anything suspicious here, because it is... They're about to lose, so he could toggle on like crazy to make sure they stay in it. Not out of the question. He's doing certain things that make it obvious he's a guy who has decent aim but no game sense or movement knowledge. Maybe switched to PC recently, but the aiming through walls and complete knowledge of crouching, them using utility and knowing where players are with no callouts or sounds. I, I've heard a lot of people using that argument for a lot of different things recently. It's like, oh, it's probably just a console player coming to PC, but it's like... I get that the, the movement and aim wouldn't quite be there, but he's even made some questionable game sense stuff where he like... Uh, he c 4 the Osa shield after he could hear the Osa repel away and still thought she was there. Oh. Also, uh, keep in mind the whole... Like, maybe he switched to PC, that's, so that's why his movement and aim is terrible. He also didn't know where a default cam was on this map. Granted, it's the newest map. But I feel like if you came from console recently, you would know where the default camera is on console. But I guess if he came back after a few years break, then he wouldn't know. seem like a crazy amount this round, but we're going to go to the last round where they said specifically he did something super suspicious. And he didn't know that someone was on stairs. I think he's fine. Says the last round he pre-fires. I know a bunch of them are a breach. If he pre-fires one of them, it wouldn't be the most suspicious thing in the world. Because you know everyone's over there. He tried to shoot the ace he saw, but then whiffed everything and hit the wall a bunch. Blind as can be. Back. I don't, I don't see anything suspicious so far. I don't know if it was one of the pre fires he had on Thatcher, which I feel like were completely valid. That was fun. Oh, he didn't even get the kill. Noah did. No, you can't see their feet through the crack. That was fine. No one on his team's watching drones. I think that was the thing that he said was suspicious, he pre-fired through the hard wall, or tried. I think he's fine. Like, it seemed like he just kept trying to pre-fire where they were. Nothing really jumped out at me. It wouldn't surprise me if Noah was trying to call out to him, being like, oh, he's right on the other side of the wall, like, pre-fire, pre-fire, and like, trying to, you know, get him to do something. But his stats are fine, he's not queued with him, so I, th I think he's fine. I think Noah probably just started yelling at him. Continuing on, last match of the day, 
fortress. I hate when people do this. I think I just made a TikTok about this today. People who barricade literally everything. They don't realize that you're supposed to only barricade like as the round goes on to delay them further, but like you never barricade sight off. Can't tell. I don't know, the Solus actually used all 50 bullets there. Okay, Alibi. Tracking a little too much. I think stinky might be a little stinky, you know? Just a little. How does this go to seven rounds? I feel like it's pretty obvious that they're cheating. I was gonna say maybe this is the wrong match, but I, I already said the names. We know this is the right match. How the, how the fuck do you go to seven rounds? He's got 19 kills! Their team has 20 kills collectively. And he has 19 of them. That means he has aced three times in this match. I'm sorry, I know it's obvious that this guy's cheating. We don't have to watch this, but like, I just want to see how he can get away with 19 kills. Just staring at all of them through the wall. Bruh. Does he have soft lock as well? It's like he keeps shooting, but as soon as he shoots, the gun flicks over to exactly where they are. The last kill here. He has to keep like moving his aim away from just straight up looking at the guy through the wall. Next round, he gets two kills. They go to overtime. I wonder if he gets uh, an ace in the last round. Also, I could be, you know, a little crazy. But it does feel like at certain points, he is shooting and the bullets aren't even hitting her, but she's still getting hurt. Magnetic bullets a thing? Can they do that? I know like aimbot has always been like that, but they at least aim at you. He's aiming next to them and they're getting hurt. This is his first attempt at hiding cheats by going on a drone. Be high ping. Yeah, I mean that is possible. We can't see ping in the replay unfortunately, but Or a bonk doesn't know any better. So it feels really bad at trying to hide it. They keep aiming at like random corners, being like, oh, it's over here. 
Also, there's no way this guy ends up getting 99% of all the kills in the lobby. Oh, he does look like he's lagging a little bit. Like looks down immediately as if the guy is going to teleport right behind him. I want to see him full firing like this. Hold on. This is going to be t hard to do, but we're going to try. Okay, Frost is up in the top left. So he's shooting over here, and she went down. So he definitely has like, I guess it would just would it just be aimbot? But normally aimbot just goes like it locks your aim onto them and then just shoots for you. He is aiming way off and still hurting them. He's at 23 kills. If I look at their account and they have like a 9kd and they're not banned, I'm gonna be upset. I mean, I understand what you mean by this could be ping, or that could have been ping, but like that right there where he was shooting the frost, he shot up like 10 feet above her head and still damaged her? No, that's not ping, that's just cheats. Because, like, from my understanding, there's always been stuff like uh, soft aim bot or, like, uh, what's it called? Soft aim. But usually it still requires that you, like, hip fire so that the hip fire spread can go to where they are instead of you aiming down sight and the bullets ignore where your scope goes and go somewhere else. But uh, maybe it's changed. Let's see if I can find the match. Not a single person in the entire match has R6 tracker, so... I, I'm I'll look up their name, Stinky Pink one one nine seven five, but I doubt it. Yeah, it's a Sturmo name. So can't find their stats. I'm sure they're not banned though, because that's just a Ubisoft thing. But yeah, okay, that was every single match today had a cheater except for Actually no, they all had cheaters. It's just the cons that one had two people accused of cheating and only one of them was. A lot of cheaters. This is probably the most cheaters we've had in any season ever, so it's not surprising.